And what if the college does not offer interviews? I would say don't worry. This means that the college does not consider interviews in the admissions process, and they've actually done you a favor by letting you know up front. There are plenty of ways to show your enthusiasm for a college. Clearly your personal statement in your application, but visiting the campus even to go to the information session and take a tour can be very helpful in that regard. I would say that if you should also meet with a local representative if he or she is coming to your school. That is another opportunity for you to show interest in a particular college. Now for the big question, who should interview? I rarely suggest that a student shouldn't interview if it's offered. If you're painfully shy, it may be better to represent yourself on paper. However, I think with a little practice and with a little bit of self-confidence, you can overcome that. But be honest with yourself about whether or not you will help yourself with an interview. If you're really unsure, you can also meet with us and we'll give you an honest assessment and help build your confidence through practice. For most students, it's a good opportunity to express your interest in a school and learn more about it. So I usually recommend interviews when offered. If you're interviewing at a college that you're particularly interested in, sometimes nerves can get the better of you. But you really want to try to keep them under control as much as possible and appear poised and confident. If you are a little nervous, I wouldn't worry so much. The admissions counselor is likely to find it somewhat endearing that you find the interview so important. But largely you'll be assessed on the information you give, your answers, your level of enthusiasm, and you don't want those nerves to overcome your enthusiasm, which it often does. That's why preparing for the interview is so important. You want to think through an answer in your head and before you say it out loud. And that's why I recommend practicing with someone else, a friend, a teacher, or someone at Prep Matters in order to get through those practice runs and so you'll be ready for the actual interview. So what to expect during a college interview? It's a little difficult to know because every college handles it differently. But be prepared to talk about yourself, your passions, your interests, your academic interests. What do you want the college to know about you that they will not get from your application and your essays? You never know how long an interview will last, so it's good to have a couple things prepared to speak about. The ever dreaded question or prompt, so tell me about yourself, is one I recommend being prepared for. Allow yourself to think of those things ahead of time so you're able to talk about your interest in scuba diving or the, the, its academic team. You want to be able to talk about those first and foremost. Sometimes admissions counselors will ask you one or two questions and then go off to talk about the college for 15 minutes. So your first opportunity to talk about those things that are of interest to you, take advantage of it. Prior to your interview, you should do a fair amount of research on the college that you're visiting. You want to be able to speak in specifics. You don't want a lot of generalities. Oh, it's a beautiful campus. I love the city of Pittsburgh. You want to know something about the size of the class or they have a specialization in a particular field. You want to know a little bit more than just the general qualities that the campus has to offer. The more you know, the more impressive you are in your interview. You might want to be prepared for some rather quirky or strange questions. I'm not actually sure why admissions counselors like to do this. I think they get a little bit bored with the same old, same old. But they might also want to assess how you do when you're throwing a curveball. Uh, do you remain poised? Are you able to smile a little bit? Are you able to laugh? Um, or do you run out of the room crying? Um, I would say if you get a quirky question as the two listed, if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? Um, Incidentally, the, the answer to that is often flying, so you might want to come up with something else. Um, my all-time favorite is, if you were a shoe, what kind of shoe would you be? And some, some people come up with some really interesting answers. The idea is to remain composed as possible. You can smile and uh, look amused, because you're allowed to. It's a strange question. Um, and you can, if you're stumped, you can say, oh, let me think about that for a little bit. Or you can just let it roll. There's probably no real wrong answer. Um, you might want to make sure you don't sound male malevolent or scary, um, but I think that you can just have fun with it.
As far as other considerations within the interview, I want to make note of the first impression. When you first greet the interviewer, please try to have a pleasant expression on your face. When I worked in college admissions, I was amused very often by going out into the waiting room to introduce myself, and the student would be sitting there and, and look almost pained, like they were a lamb being led to slaughter. And I understood that it was because they were nervous or focused on what they wanted to say, but if you can try to maintain a pleasant expression, it's helpful. You want to exude a little bit of warmth. Also, to offer your hand in a handshake, if they, it is not offered to you, is very appropriate. Remember, in the course of the interview, your posture, try not to slump or slide down in the chair. Um, you also want to be dressed appropriately. You don't want to look like a 17-year-old CEO, but I think a collared shirt if you're a boy. If you're a young woman, you want to make sure you're not wearing low-cut uh, blouse or too, too short a skirt. And at the end of the interview, if you ask for the person's card who's interviewing you, it's a nice gesture to send a thank you note or write them an email to thank them for their time. Indicate that you learned a lot from the visit and that you, and you can especially make note of one or two things that you learned in, in the course of the interview. That's always well received. It won't get you into college necessarily, but it's a, it's a nice gesture and will be remembered. Thank you for attending this evening's webinar. We hope